Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now this is just a very quick video to show you how you can propagate Crassula muscosa. And it's very, very easy. And the reason why I'm doing these videos, I'm giving my, my plants a little bit of a trim. It's looking a bit, bit wild, as you can see. And all you have to do is literally cut any part of the, bit of a, pick a nice healthy part of the cutting. As in, in this case here, right down to the join, as in there, like that. And then another part right down to where it joins there. So this is like a, a very trailing type of plant. And it's actually a bit more like a sedum, even though it's actually a crassula. But um, you can treat it in the same way. So as I say, there's some cuttings here. And put a little jar of water. I like to personally root these in water. I find it's easier. You can insert them straight into soil in a pot and water them. And they root very, very easily. Now, unlike other succulents, where I normally recommend allowing at least a couple of days, if not longer, depending on the size of the diameter of the cut of the succulent, allowing it to completely callous over. But with these plants, with Crassula muscosa, you can just pop them straight in water or straight into a pot and they root so easily. So every time I have to give this big guy, and this is actually a little cutting from this big fella, this needs trimming as well. Every time I need to give this a trim, put it in some water and it roots very, very very easily and that's so easy to propagate as I say I always make sure when it comes to propagating pick a nice big healthy part this this plant has actually been kept outside all winter and um, normally this time of year it does have lovely little flowers on it and links up above to a video I've made of this actual plant in flower with the most tiny miniature of flowers guys and it actually has quite an unusual smell to it but um, it's not flowering this year, probably because I've kept it outside rather than indoors. But um, it may flower next year, hopefully, for me. But obviously, this is just mainly just to show you how easy it is to propagate. You just cut a piece off, and as easy as that. And you literally just stick it into some water or into a pot, whichever you prefer. And um, it will start to send out roots literally within a few Probably a couple of weeks or so. Once it's got the roots, I just pot it up and you've got another little plant. So that's how easy it is to do. Um, very easy. Now, this plant does need a lot of trimming every now and then anyway, because it can grow a little bit unruly. Personally, I love it looking like this, wild as you can see. I trim a bit of the old, the old dead parts off at the top, but leave it like this. And um, I love it sort of trailing down. I think it's absolutely wonderful. But you can trim it, cut it right down to any shape you want and um, why not use the little pieces you cut off just to, to root and have another little plant it's so easy to do guys so that's I just wanted to share it with you I'm giving this a little bit of a prune I thought I might as well show you how easy it is just to propagate how for crassula muscosa so I say I like to put them in water they root very easy that way and it means I can see the roots but you can equally have same benefits just put by putting it straight into a pot of soil as well now that's a lot of cuttings all taken in there in the glass, um, the little glass with some water in it. And all you have to do then is just be patient and it should easily take root. As I say, it's entirely up to you whether you want to put them straight into soil or into water. In this case, I like to use water so I can see the roots developing. So um, with Crassula muscosa, that's how easy it is. I have to trim this plant quite regularly to keep it into some type of shape. And literally it roots like lightning. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that, <laughs> short and sweet. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power. As always, from Ireland, until the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.